Welcome to exam 70-462, one of the Microsoft SQL Server certification exams. In this video, I'm just going to talk about really quick what's going to be covered in this video, just so you can kind of know what you're going to be getting into as you're going through this process. As we run through this entire course, you're going to cover a lot of the components of the SQL Server product. This includes things like installation configuration, where we're going to show how to do both standalone installs and clustered installs, both from the command line as well as using the actual wizard to walk through the process. We're going to look at our instance and database maintenance processes so that we can see how to actually maintain SQL Server for best practices, keep it up and running as best as possible. We're going to look at how to optimize and troubleshoot SQL Server. This includes performance tuning, looking for stalled and blocked processes, and going through a variety of scenarios where you actually need to dig into the SQL Server instance a little bit to get more information about how things are working so you can solve those problems. This includes going through things like wait stats, using extended events, using SQL Server Profiler. We're going to look at how to actually manage the data within the SQL Server database engine. Obviously, managing data is extremely important. If we can't manage the data successfully and safely, then obviously as DBAs, we're not doing our jobs. So this includes things like data security, which we're actually going to cover in an entire section unto itself, backup and recovery, making sure that data corruption hasn't occurred, as well as several other topics that we walk through. We're going to look at SQL Server security, a subject which is near and dear to my heart since I wrote a book about it. So we're going to look at all the different ways you can secure the SQL Server to make sure that the data that we've got that we're maintaining is going to be secure and kept safe from anybody who's trying to get access to it. Another topic which I absolutely love is high availability. So we're going to look at always on availability groups. We're going to look at database mirroring. We're going to look at SQL Server failover clustering. And we're also going to look at replication. You can keep pieces of your environment up and running with the highest levels of availability.